Satnam, this is a 30 minute Kundalini Yoga Kriya with Yogi Jets. Sit tall, bring the palms together, give them a good rub, generate some warmth and bring your prayer mudra, pranam mudra in towards the heart center, thumbs towards the sternum. Eyes rolled up and into the third eye point in the center of the forehead, take a deep inhale. And exhale fully. Inhale, tall through the spine. And keep that length as you exhale. And let's inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in. Just allowing those mantras to vibrate through you, bringing you into the present moment for your practice today. And exhaling, relaxing hands down to knees, Gyan Mudra, index fingers to thumbs, just settling for a moment. Now we're going to bring our hands into fists at the shoulders and we're going to inhale reach forward exhale grab back inhale reach forward exhale grab back it's a powerful movement just to get that prana moving into the body nice and strong eyes closed rolled up and into the third eye point inhaling out exhaling in powerful grabbing motions to pull that prana into you Good, now there's a slight twist in the torso here, so just keep the navel engaged, pull the belly in just to protect the spine and go for it. Let that twist happen. It's a very gentle twist as you reach forward on that inhale, pull back on the exhale, powerful movement. Good, get greedy with that prana, that lovely life force energy that is held within the breath. The eyes locked into the third eye point in the center of the brow, keeps you focused, keeps you determined, keeps you going. Stay with it. Now bring both fists back to the shoulders, take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in, squeeze more bund. That means you're squeezing the anus and the sex organs, you're pulling the navel into the spine, you're lengthening tall through the spine, feeling, sensing, imagining that energy moving up the spine. Hold it, squeeze, and exhale. Relax the hands down to the knees, palms facing up, Gyan Mudra, index fingers to thumbs. And just allow that lovely, fresh, new oxygen to circulate through the body nourishing all of the cells, activating the body's innate capacity to heal itself. Just resting here. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. 
turning the palms now. So you're holding onto your knees and we'll move into a nice round Sufi grind. So you're inhaling forward and around, exhaling back and around. Nice full breaths, nice full movements. The eyes are closed, rolled up and into the third eye point in the center of the brow. And we'll start off slowly as this is the very beginning of our practice. Just take it nice and slow with a full deep breath, bringing the awareness down to the base of the spine, Muladhara Chakra, that sits just in the center of the pelvic floor there. So you're kind of drawing a little circle around Muladhara Chakra, circling the pelvis around the root. Breathing deep, inhaling forward and around, exhaling back and around. Take that breath nice and full. And as the spine starts to warm up, taking that movement as deep as you can, moving the awareness up now to Svadhisthana Chakra that sits just behind the sex organs. Breathing into Svadhisthana Chakra, moving into Svadhisthana Chakra. You'll feel the pelvis moving. Nice massage and activation through the sacral chakra. Activating our creativity, our joie de vivre. Moving up now to the navel, Manipura Chakra. Activating our self-belief, our confidence. That's it, keep moving deep. As the spine warms up, taking it deeper and deeper. Coming all the way up now to the center of the chest, Anahata Chakra, the heart chakra. Activating all those feelings of compassion and love and forgiveness, not only for other people, but for ourselves as well. Breathing deep, coming all the way up with the awareness to the throat chakra, Vishuddha chakra. Our ability to express our needs, to be authentic. Breathing deep through the whole of the spine. And on the next inhale, when the heart comes forward, changing direction. Feeling your way into it with a deep, generous breath, a deep, generous movement. And coming back down to the base of the spine, to the root chakra, Muladhara chakra. Circling that chakra at the base of the spine, right there in the center of the pelvic floor. The root, our connection to all that is in this 3D reality. Breathing deep, moving deep. Feel this rotation in the pelvis. Moving your awareness up now to Svadhisthana Chakra. The chakras generally sit on the front of the spine. And if colors are helpful to you, Svadhisthana is a nice vibrant orange. Juicy and creative, allowing that freedom of expression and creativity and play. Coming up now to Manipura Chakra, sunny yellow chakra, just behind the navel point here. Breathing into it. Moving into it, nice full movement through the whole of the spine, activating that confidence at Manipura. Coming on up now to Anahata Chakra, focusing on this movement in the upper back, in the chest, using the shoulder blades to help you get even deeper into this rotation. So on the inhale, you're sliding shoulder blades together behind you on the exhale, you're drawing them apart to really shine the heart out behind you. And coming up to the throat chakra, Muladhara, uh, Vishuddha chakra. Lovely sky blue color. Our creative expression, our self-expression, our ability to speak our needs and to be heard. Full movement of energy through the whole chakra system from Muladhara to Vishuddha with this lovely deep breath, deep rotation through the spine. Good, inhaling up to the center now. Holding that breath in as again, you squeeze more buns, squeeze the pelvic floor, everything from the belly button squeezes. So pelvic floor pulls up and in, navel pulls up and in, and you're feeling, sensing, imagining the energy moving from the tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. Squeeze, lift up tall, stretch up. And exhale, relax and release, turning the palms up, Gyan Mudra. Sitting tall and just notice how that activation through the chakra system feels in the body, feels in the consciousness. We start to perhaps feel a little more clear, a little more alive and expansive. Just resting and witnessing 
staying present. That's it. Take a deep inhale. And exhale fully. The hands come down now onto the front shin. You're holding onto the front shin. And we're continuing our spinal work by inhaling, flexing the, forward, the spine forward, exhaling, extending it back. So there's a nice full movement through the spine, an undulating wave from the tip of the tailbone all the way up to those higher vertebrae. The chin stays roughly parallel with the floor. The eyes are rolled up and into the third eye point. And you're moving as deeply as the spine will allow, just to get that lovely energy circulating through the spine, clearing away any stagnancy, any stuck energy in the spine and in the chakra system. Good, breathing deep, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Flexible spine is synonymous with youth and vitality. So as we keep our spine flexible, so we can maintain a flexible attitude to life. Keep breathing deep, moving as deep as you can. That's it, good. Eyes rolled up and into the third eye point. Really generous movement through the spine here. Especially if you've been sitting all day or all week or are about to sit for the full day. Just releasing the spine, bringing movement to the spine. And inhale into the center now, tall spine. Hold that breath in and we'll squeeze our more buns. Lift that energy up through the spine, all the way up. Squeeze it hard. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Squeeze and lift up. And exhale, relax and release the hands to Gyan Mudra on the knees, index fingers to thumbs. Just settling into this new wave of energy, new wave of awakening. Witnessing and observing and allowing that energy to integrate. Deep inhale, exhale fully. Coming to sit now on the heels. If this is really tough on your knees or on your ankles, on your feet, just stay in easy pose with the legs crossed. So you've got your hands on your thighs, your knees, and you're inhaling forward, exhaling back. It's the same kind of movement through the spine with a flexion and extension through the spine, except this time there's a focus on the middle to upper back. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, keeping the eyes locked up and into the Ajna, the third eye chakra. Powerful breath, powerful movement, really opening up through the front of the spine, through the back of the spine, taking it as deep as the spine will allow. Good, use your breath. Good, feeling that movement through the vertebrae. And there's a lovely passive massage that happens on the digestive system with these spinal flexes. So we're giving the intestines a nice little squeeze, releasing any toxins. So it's important we keep the breath nice and deep just to help with the release of any toxins from the body. That's it. Focusing on the middle to upper back. So again, we're using our shoulder blades to get even deeper into this flex on the inhale. You're pulling the shoulder blades together behind you on the exhale. You're sliding them apart like elevator doors. Good, inhaling into the center. Holding that breath in as you squeeze more bund. Really nice tall spine, stretching up, chin tucks in. Squeeze harder and even harder still. Raise that energy up, up, up. 
exhale, relax, release, turn the palms to face up, Yan Mudra. And once again, just settle into the afterglow of that movement, of that breath. Witnessing the arousal of energy through the body. The integration of fresh new prana in the body. And that brings with it a clarity, a focus of the mind, a stillness in the thoughts. It creates space. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. Now we'll come back to sitting in easy pose if you need to stretch your legs out, uh, give them a little tap, get the blood flowing through and come back into easy pose as soon as is comfortable. We're going to continue our work with the spine here. So our hands come onto the shoulders, fingers at the front, thumbs at the back. We want to keep our navel strong through this movement. It's a twisting movement to counterbalance those flexes. So we'll be inhaling, twisting to the left, exhaling, twisting to the right, inhaling left, exhaling right. Now, if you have your navel in, you can really go for it. You can really let yourself loose, let yourself flow, inhaling left, exhaling right, keeping the upper arms parallel to the floor. Keeping the eyes at the third eye point. Now this is bringing the energy up into Anahata Chakra, into the Heart Chakra. So keep your awareness in the center of the chest here. And keep the navel in so strong that the lower back, the lower spine does not move. You're only moving the spine from the waist upwards. Good, powerful breath. Eyes at the third eye point. Great for opening up the chest, opening up the lungs, getting the circulation going through the body. The heart loves this exercise. Good, stay with it. Resist the urge to drop the arms down, keep them parallel to the floor. That helps to keep the chest open. Open up the lungs, detoxify from the respiratory system. Strong navel. Nearly there. And inhale to center. Hold that breath in, squeeze tight through more band, chin tucks in, slight jalanda band, squeeze and lift that energy up, 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 up through the spine, squeeze it, hold it, stretch up. Exhale, float the hands down to Gyan Mudra. Now we're really starting to get into the experience of expanded consciousness. At this stage in the Kriya, we've come up into the heart center. We're moving up into the higher chakras now. And this brings with it a refinement of energy, a purification of energy. You can sense it through this feeling of expansion up into the head, down the energy channels of the arms, Inhaling deep, exhaling fully, bringing your left hand in front of the heart center, right hand, face, put right palm facing the left, hooking the fingers and locking the fingers together. So like an opera singing mudra, we're inhaling left elbow up, exhaling right elbow up like a seesaw, inhaling left elbow, exhaling right elbow, powerful breath, eyes closed at the third eye point, now you want to create a little bit of tension in the hands, so you're pulling very slightly in the hands. That's it. Keeping the hands in front of the heart center, there's a tendency to creep up to the throat. You want to keep this lock in front of the heart center as we open up our Anahata Chakra even more.
Good, stay with it. Even if it starts to feel a little bit uncomfortable in the upper arms, in the shoulders, work through that, use your breath. There's a real rebalancing of energy at the heart center happening here. So you want to stay locked into this rhythm, locked into this breath and this movement to really give this clear justice. Give yourself the space for healing. Hold on and keep going. 15 more seconds. You can do it. Good. Now inhale at the heart center, parallel to the floor. Inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more buns. Stretch tall through the spine and feel sense. Imagine that energy moving up through the spine, up to the crown of the head. Shahasrara Chakra. Up to the crown. Squeeze, hold, lift. Pull through the hands. And exhale. Relax the hands down to the knees. Gyan Mudra. And just allow that energy to integrate. Continuing to enjoy the purification, the refinement of these energies, the refinement of your consciousness. Each clear brings with it an alchemical process that brings us out of the lower chakra vibration and into the vibration of the higher chakras. Take a deep inhale. Exhale fully. Now we'll turn our palms over. We'll come back to our friendly spinal flex, inhaling forward, exhaling back, moving that energy through the full spine. So there's a nice circulation happening through the body here, keeping the eyes rolled up and into the third eye point. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. That's it. Nice full breath, circulating the energy, keeping the eyes at the third eye point. Generous movement. That's it, keeping the eyes locked into the third eye point and really feeling this through the spine, feeling this through the vertebrae, moving to the absolute maximum that your spine can move. The spine is pretty warm by now, so we can take this movement deep. That's it, keep your focus. Inhaling to the center. Holding that breath in as you squeeze more buns. Stretch up tall. Lift up through that energy. Up through the spine. Squeeze a little harder. Lift a little taller. Chin tucks in. And exhale. Relax and release. Palms face up. Gya Mudra. Coming into that witness phase of resting, recovering, and integrating as you just observe. Inhaling deep, exhaling fully, turning the palms to hold onto the knees, and we're going to move our awareness up to Vishuddha Chakra now by inhaling the shoulders up, exhaling, dropping them down, inhaling up, exhaling down. So it's as if you're sh shrugging the weight of the world from your shoulders here, inhaling up, exhaling down. It's a powerful motion like a steam train. That's it. Let that tension drop away from the shoulder girdle. 
clearing, balancing Vishuddha Chakra on an energetic level, clearing and balancing the thyroid and the parathyroid on a physical level. Eyes at third eye point, keep your focus and let all that tension go. Let that tension go from the shoulder girdle. We tend to carry so much stress on our shoulders. And this movement, this breath, just helps to release the shoulders, release that stress, and reset the shoulders, which resets the rib cage, which resets the lungs, allowing us to take in more of that lovely, juicy, healing prana, that life force energy in the breath. Inhaling up. Hold that breath in as you squeeze, more buns. Stretch up tall, chin tucks in, squeeze, lift up, stretch up as you raise that energy. Up, 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 squeeze. Exhale, relax and release. Turning the palms to face up, Yam Mudra will move straight into the next exercise. You're dropping the chin to the chest. You're inhaling left ear to left shoulder. Exhaling, lolling the chin across the chest, inhaling right ear to right shoulder. If you have any neck injury, stay with this semicircle across the chest. Otherwise, if you're feeling strong in the neck, take that rotation all the way around. Nice, full, slow, deep neck rotation. So the basic breathing pattern is exhaling forward and inhaling back. But if you wanna take it even slower, and take a couple of breaths per rotation, feel free. Take your time here, let the head be heavy, 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 heavy head. And just let go. See how much you can let go, see how heavy you can let the head be. Being very gentle, very careful on the neck. Remember, if this feels a little bit too strong for you, just come into that semicircle across the chest. Bathing the inside of the skull with all of those juicy energies that you've generated in the practice today. That's it, take it slow, take it heavy, take it deep, and above all, let go. Just let go. Taking your time to get there, the next time that your chin lolls across the chest, just changing direction. Head is heavier than a bowling ball, allowing it to stretch out the neck, stretch out any of those little crunchy bits, those little crystals of tension and stress, Give yourself permission to just let go. That's it. Taking your time really feeling this in the stretch in the neck. This is your last rotation, wherever you are. And at the end of that rotation, just allow the head to loll down, allow the chin to rest on the chest. Take your time. And breathe into the back of the neck. Breathe into that stretch. Keep the spine straight, you're not slouching here, it's just the neck that's stretching forward, chin touching chest, or chin lolling down towards the chest. And just relax here. Breathing and observing that stretch in the back of the neck, perhaps you can feel it in the back. Inhaling raising the head and exhaling here. Now we're going to come back into our opera singing mudra. Left palm now in front faces out from in front of the throat. 
right palm faces the left and we're going to interlock our fingers in front of the throat chakra. We take a deep inhale here. And we hold this breath as we squeeze more band, squeeze the pelvic floor and we pull the hands apart with all of your might. So you want to tremble with the strength that it takes to pull, 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 pull. Good, hold it, squeeze it. Now we're gonna hold this hand position as we exhale fully. All the breath out and with the breath held out, we pull and we squeeze more band. Pull and squeeze more band. Pull the hands, squeeze more band. Inhale now, raise the arms up above the head so you're hovering them just above the head. Inhale. Hold this and pull. Hold, pull. Squeezing more band and pulling the hands. Now we'll exhale here, all the breath out. And we'll squeeze more band as we pull the arms with the breath held out. Squeeze, hold and pull. Squeeze, hold, pull. Inhale, hands back to the throat. Hold this posture, pull the hands apart as you squeeze, 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 squeeze. Tight through more band. Hold the posture, exhale fully. With the breath held out now, squeeze, more band. And pull the hands apart, squeeze and pull. Eyes at the third eye. Inhaling, hands above the head once more. Hold the breath, squeeze more band and pull the hands apart. Pull, pull, pull. Feel that trembling through the nervous system as the nervous system resets. Squeeze, pull, hold. Exhale fully. Breath held out, squeeze, pull, hold. Squeeze and pull. Inhale back to the throat. Squeeze it and pull, 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 pull. Hold it. Exhale all the way up. Squeezing more band. Pull the hands apart, squeeze, pull, pull, pull. And last time now, taking the hands up above the head on the inhale. Holding that breath in as you squeeze and pull and stretch up through the spine, eyes at the arching points, hold it, squeeze it, pull. Hold the posture, exhale. Squeeze, hold, pull, pull, pull. And inhale. Exhale, float the hands down to the knees to Gyan Mudra. Observing how the energy has moved up now into the higher chakras, into Ajna, at the third eye point in the center of the skull, pituitary gland, and Shahasrara, the crown chakra at the crown of the head, pineal gland. The energy has moved up into the head. Just enjoying the subtlety of awareness that comes with the awakening and activation of those chakras. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. We're going to bring the hands now into our ego eradicator mudra, which is thumbs up, the tips of the tops of the uh, fingers pressed against the tops of the palms. We're going to plug our thumbs up now into the higher self with straight arms. And we're going to hold this posture with a breath of fire, a nice and strong breath of fire, which is our panting breath, but through the nose. generating a nice pump through the belly. If breath of fire is very new to you, just do this with a long, slow, deep breath, but use your belly, so you're breathing into the belly. Use the belly uh, to move with the breath. Good, eyes at third eye point. Take a deep inhale. Hold this breath in as you bring the thumbs to touch above the head, squeezing more band, stretching tall through the spine. Now opening the fingers wide, so you're spreading wide through the hands. Keep the eyes closed, squeeze and stretch up. 
the thumb tips are touching, the fingertips are spread wide. And exhale, you're combing down through the auric field, bringing the fingertips all the way down to the earth, grounding through the fingers. Settling into the breath again. Just feeling that expansion projecting around you. Activation of the auric field, our protective shield. Taking a deep inhale and exhaling, coming all the way down to lying flat on the back for Shavasana. So get yourself nice and comfortable. If you have a blanket, cover yourself up. You might have a couple of pillows under your knees, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Get nice and cozy in your nest. Shoulder blades are together and down, chin tucks in, so the back of the neck is long. Starfish yourself out. And we'll invite the body to just relax down to the earth. This is our opportunity to integrate our practice, to recover from our practice, to allow that process of healing to begin in the body from our practice. So relaxing the toes and the feet, the heels and the ankles. Relaxing calves and shins, knees and thighs. Relaxing buttocks and groin, pelvis and pelvic floor. Relaxing the whole of the abdomen, the diaphragm. Relaxing the chest, the ribs, the lungs and heart. Relaxing the collarbones and the shoulders, the upper back, middle back and lower back. Relax and release into the earth. Relaxing and releasing the upper arms and the elbows, the forearms, wrists, hands, fingers and thumbs. Relaxing and releasing the neck and the throat, the jaw, the teeth and tongue. Relaxing and releasing the lips, the cheeks, their nose and ears and eyes. Relaxing and releasing the forehead and the scalp the skull and the brain. Relaxing and releasing the whole of the central nervous system. Giving yourself complete permission for total surrender here. To just let go and integrate all of your hard work today. And gently starting to wriggle the fingers, wriggle the toes, circling the wrists and the ankles, first in one direction and then in the other direction. Gently turn the head from left to right. Come back to the center, take a deep inhale, stretch the body, point the toes and then flex the feet. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Inhale, bring right knee into the chest. Exhale it across the body to the left side, turning the head in the opposite direction to the knee and breathe into that cat stretch. Inhale to center, exhale down. Inhale the opposite knee into the chest, exhale across the body, turning the head to the opposite direction of the knee, breathing into that twist in the spine. Inhaling to center, exhaling down. Inhaling both knees into the chest now, wrapping the arms around the knees. Give yourself a big hug, rock from side to side. 
and then bring palms of hands together, soles of feet together, give them a good rub, generate some warmth, bring yourself back into your body and tuck the hands into the creases behind the knees, rock forwards and back, up and down along the spine, coming all the way up to sitting comfortably, up on a cushion or however feels comfortable. And we're just going to do a very short closing meditation for absolute power. So now that we've woken up the spine and the chakra system, we're gonna bring that energy out into the auric field. So the mudra is we uh, interlace all of our fingers except for our sun finger, that's the ring finger. So the finger that's next to the baby finger is extended. You might struggle a bit like I am to pull the mercury fingers or the pinky fingers down. Your thumbs are alongside each other and coming in towards the sternum, the uh, sun fingers or the ring fingers are pointing up and out 60 degrees. Now we're going to use the mantra on. OMG. The emphasis in this mantra is on the NG. So you want to feel those vibrations in the skull. Take a deep inhale. Nice long spine, eyes at the third eye. Exhale. And let's inhale for five long ohms. Ohms. posture stretching tall through the spine, integrating the vibrations of that mantra, connecting you with all that is, giving you that realization that all the power, all the strength, all the energy of the universe is within you. Exhaling and just unraveling the fingers, bringing your hands into prayer mudra, Nice firm pressure between the palms and we'll close our practice by chanting Sat Nam, Truth is my name, just once. Taking a deep inhale. Exhaling fully. And let's inhale for a long Sat Short Nam. to the floor and allowing the forehead to bow down as far as it will go, offering your gratitude to your body and mind and breath for bringing you to this yoga today. Sending that gratitude out into your life as far as it will go. And coming back when you feel ready. Satnam, this is Yogi Gems with a lovely kundalini yoga session for the spine and you can subscribe to the channel for more or you can find out more about the careers at yogigems.com. Satnam, thank you for joining.